Now we're going to talk about the Norton's theorem. And Norton came up with a great idea where we could take a complicated circuit like this with multiple voltage sources and try to figure out the current through the low resistance by setting up what we call an equivalent Norton circuit where we know the total current in the circuit and we know the Norton resistance which is then put in parallel to the low resistor. And of course to find the current in the low resistor which is this current right here, I through the uh, load resistor, that's going to be equal to the total current in the circuit, which is the Norton current, times the ratio of the Norton resistance divided by the total resistance of the two branches like that. Okay, so all we have to do is find out what that Norton current is and what that Norton resistance is. And the way we do that is as follows. To find the Norton current, we take the very same circuit that we have here, let's draw it, with one change. The one change is that we're going to short out the load resistor, like so. So we have this resistor here, we have this battery right there, okay? And so now we have the 40 volt battery on this side, we have the 10 volt battery on this side, this is now shorted out, we have the 8 ohm resistor, and we here have the 2 ohm resistor. And since we shorted this out, this whole point right here, this whole part of the circuit, is, has to be at zero volts. So this is at zero volts, this here is at 40 volts, this here is at 40 volts, oh, not 40, but 10 volts, 10 volts, and we can now see that the current through this branch, so let's call this I2, let's call this I1, and so I1 would be equal to the voltage, which is 40 volts, divided by the resistance, which is 8 ohms, and then 40 divided by 8 is 5 amps, and over here this would be 10 volts, divided by 2 ohms, whoop, 2 ohms like that, which is equal to 5 amps. And so both of those currents, which will be directed this way, and yes, I know, if you're an engineering student, you're going to say, wait a minute, it's got the current in the wrong direction, because current flows from negative to positive. Well, in physics classes, current flows from positive to negative, which means current will flow in this direction rather than in that direction. So it depends what class you're sitting in. So this will be um, 5 amps and 5 amps, so when the current comes together in the single Norton branch, I Norton then will be the sum of those two, or 10 amps, and that will be the Norton current right here. This is equal to 10 amps found by shorting out the load resistor. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and short out the batteries and then find the equivalent Norton resistance. So we're going to open the circuit up, take out the low resistor and find the equivalent Norton resistance of that circuit. So now we'll draw a new circuit. Uh, maybe I have room down here. So we short out the batteries. We still have this resistor. We're going to open this up now. The load resistor is removed. Okay, we shorten that out like that. This is A, this is B, and so this is 8 ohms, this is 2 ohms. Notice to go from A to B, I have to branch out, I can either go to the 8 ohm resistor, the 2 ohm resistor, come back here to B, so that's a typical, what we call parallel circuit. So we can say that R sub N, Norton circuit, is equal to the equivalent resistance here, which is the product of the sum, remember, with parallel circuits, we do the product of the sum on the resistors, so we have 8 ohms times 2 ohms, divided by 8 ohms plus 2 ohms, and so that would be 16 ohms squared divided by 10 ohms, which is 1.6 ohms. So the equivalent resistance of this circuit with the low resistor removed and the battery shorted out, we have 1.6 ohms across that gap, so that becomes the Norton resistance here, 1.6 ohms. And so now we can find the current through the low resistor, which is the total current in the circuit, which is 10 amps, Again, that is the equivalent Norton circuit times the ratio of the Norton resistance, which is 1.6 divided by uh, the Norton resistance 1.6 plus 5 ohms for the, the load resistor. So let's see what and that is equal so to. We have 10 times 1.6 divided by 6.6 equals, and of course we should have gotten the very same result because this was the very same circuit that I used for the for the um, Evidence theorem, of course, we should expect to get the very same result, and sure enough, we did get the very same result. The current through the load resistor is 2.4 amps using Norton's theorem as well. Again, those are very handy theorems to calculate 
the current through the low resistor by changing the circuit around the low resistor to an equivalent simple either Norton's theorem or Thevenin's theorem circuit. In this case, we use the Norton's theorem circuit. And that's how we do that.